Hello everyone, my name is the Ammonite, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Evil Within. This is the 10th chapter, and this is the 7th video in the series that we are currently doing on the channel. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that, um... I wanted to say while we're going down this, I've got new headphones, um, a new chair, and a ring light to hopefully, um, sort the audio out a bit more, um... Ruben? Does he mean Ruvik? Numbers are irrelevant. They received as they themselves gave. And they served a higher purpose. They furthered my research. This was not mere research. The things the papers say were done to those people, those traps. These vermin? These microbes? They're mine to do with as I please. But you are correct. This was not mere research. I'm close to perfection. This is abhorrent. This is my will. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so since this has been like a while since I last recorded, um, I don't know what happened. Uh, <coughs> and obviously, if you don't, you don't remember what happened Who's either, guy next door? maybe go check the other video out. Um, I will say this video is probably going to be a long one. Um, Let me find this. Okay, yeah, I've just um, looked into it, and um, this video will probably be about three hours long. Um, I mean, I don't know what else I can say other than that. <clears throat> Because, um, oh, hello. Yes. Do you have any idea why this world is the way it is? What? Who are you? Hate. Hate. Ruvik's hate. The man's consumed by it. He wants out. Wants to get his revenge. He wants back. What he feels the world took from him. It's not like he could actually get that. <laughs> it's not like he could actually get that. This world exists as long as he does. You heard something just now? Yes. But I'm going to go. Yeah, so three hours. I'm going to try and get the last two episodes. I think I want to try and make this the second last episode. Um <clears throat> So like the last two episodes are probably like three hours long because we're going to get two chapters done from here <clears throat> and then hopefully go into like another Three chapters to finish the game, but don't hold me to that. Um, you know,
Oh shit. Can I reload? I guess not. Then again, I could load game. Let me reload. Yeah, I wanted to like make this my last two videos because <clears throat> I know these videos aren't doing well. Um. Yeah, it's it's definitely not. It's uh, right. I want to say it's there's it's nothing to do with the game. <laughs> Fuck. This is insane. What's insane? Yeah, I want to say it's nothing to do with the game, of course. Um, it's probably just my bad commentary, um, not knowing what to say for a game I've already played. So... You know, I'll... There's always next time. I do feel terrible though. Ooh, like I honestly I say it a lot, but I do feel terrible when I don't do well with the commentary. Um, because <clears throat> these are these is this is a great game. I mean, what is that? Looks like the fucking gun from Gmod. This large portable storage cell can be used to get electrical equipment. Okay, so it's an item used to, like, obviously progress. Hmm, okay, so that's what that is. Oh, that, they were, that was giving me flashbacks to uh, Fortnite, that for some reason. I don't know another time to talk about Fortnite, but um, the 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 Flash, Fortnite's added that now. If um, you haven't played it in since uh, in recent time, and oh my god, <laughs> fuck, it's bad.
Oh, buddy. Get down, buddy. Ooh. Okay, you're a bit of a smart fucker, aren't you? Ah, got you. Okay, realistically, I just wanted to come in here to grab whatever that was. Um, so, you know, yoinky, yoink, yoink. Place the Gary's mod weapon into the thing. And let's get out of here. <laughs> that only got us. Fuck. No. Ah. <sighs> okay, yeah, I, I will say I am still getting used to the chair. Um, I don't know what that has to do with, like, this game. Maybe I'll just keep it out for now until, like, it's thingied. But yeah, I am going to have to get used to this, like, whole setup. Like, this wire here is just... Oh, God. It's so annoying. But, you know, don't listen to me make excuses about why I'm doing bad. Okay, let's go. What the... What is that? Oh, God damn it, man. I wish they didn't have this, like, part. I wish it was removable. I remember this being quite bad. I'm pretty sure you gotta crawl under this if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. Maybe when it's moving. I should have opened that door. I definitely got caught. Oh, uh, did I get caught? Not yet, 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 not yet. But a bink. Stop. Oh, I want to run out here, but I don't. Is that another Gary's mod weapon I see? I don't know if it's just me, but like, is anyone else? Like, it's meant to be winter, yeah? Um.
it's meant to be winter and it's absolutely boiling um i literally wore this which i wore in my shim legacy video like months and months ago um just to be comfy and like not cold and for whatever reason i cannot win with the cold Where am I? <clears throat> I think one of the next major hurdles I'm going to have to figure out is um, the camera. Oh yeah, I should probably pick that thing back up. You know that Gary's mod weapon that I just happenstance to see but for not a pick? Oh no. Okay, we got that. So, spoiler alert, but apparently this level in particular um, has apparently two boss fights, and that's why it's like two plus hours long. Um, and don't get me wrong, two plus hours is a perfect time. I mean, but... For someone who's trying to record it, not, not fun. You know, I'm gonna have to do it. I have turned, I've opened the windows. I mean, oh God, I literally, I'm, I'm gonna say it. Um, the amount of times I was wanting to record this in the past few days, but either I was feeling ill or very hot. Um, that streak ain't doing well. This is a three hour long video, apparently. Mm. Should I just rush for it? Oh. I don't know what it's asking. Oh! <laughs> Get off. Okay, so first major hurdle. Get rid of these fuckers. Does that count as a boss? Oh no. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yes, go, go away. I thought they were gonna like come back around. Okay, bullets always nice to see. More bullets, love to see it. I'm going to presume that's a boss. Because I do not remember there being many bosses as it says there is. Uh, 
Uh, what if we... Ooh, shit. What if we just went for it? Okay, that's not going to be available. Thanks, game. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I'm too warm for this. I've literally had to change into something else just to combat this heat. I feel like full concentration is going to be required. For this part, so... Please bear with me. Wasn't that fun? Die, please. Die. I think I know what the title for this video is going to be. Fuck the heat. I am, oh god, like, just the idea of the heat is... Okay, so once again, I had to take up like two minutes away from this from the video. Um, oh shit! I had to step outside. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something behind this door. It was an exit. Ooh, baby. Okay, we're back in. Laura? Laura, where are you going?
restore her, my beloved sister, Laura. Um, you made a monster out of her. Ah, yes, I remember this. Hey, Laura, welcome back. You having fun? So I guess that's the other boss fight and the other one is that big boy. Oh, Laura. I know you're just stalling, but... Ah, yes. Electrocute her? Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna like phase through it or some shit. Bye, Laura. You shan't stop me from grabbing this. Oh, fuck, she's here. Okay. I love how she just smashes your face in with like a massive fuck of claws. I love, honestly, I love claws, and maybe that's maybe that's why she was my favorite character. Um. Okay, I'll be back once I get back there. Keep it moving, Seb. Oh, fuck it. I was going to try and grab it, but it's obviously... Damn, you're powerful. It's it's obvious it's only purpose of that like um the only purpose of that like vial is obviously just to be like you sure you don't want it? And it's like obviously it's a 10k one, I'm pretty sure. So it's meant to get you like, ooh, but maybe I should get it. Oh yeah, shit, I just realized I said like this is two more videos left. Um actually that's five videos left. Um, but I might not bring them out, like, straight away. We take a little break from Evil Within, but we've still got the DLCs. Is she in that? Ah, yes. I remember. But of course I remember. It's a puzzle. Isn't it? I was trying to sworn you've got to shoot the fire out. Ah, yes. But of course. Ooh, hello. Oh, bud. Move, hurry! Yep, uh huh. Where's the Laura? I genuinely do not know where she is. Oh! Fuck! 
Did that actually hurt her? It did. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this and clench my ass cheeks as I go up this. Okay, well fine, she's not like following me, so... Oh, you don't shoot them out yet? Bro, I don't know what you want me to do. Oh. I've got something for you right over here. I did not set her on fire, that's fun. I'm sorry that this video, I don't have enough commentary, um, I mean, what can I comment here on of that I'm getting, like, absolutely chased? The only thing I'm ready to do is just panic. Oh, fuck. That did nothing. Because of course it didn't, it's not fire, so why would it? Oh, Laura, you. You and your magical fucking powers. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Yes, I know how to sneak. Okay then, okay right, well we know what we do this time. Oh fuck, I shouldn't even have to cut this out if you... If you're nice enough. Oh you stupid bitch. Laura, I'm starting to think that me and you can't be friends anymore. I'm sorry, Laura. Just kind of, kind of be friends. 
keep smacking my face in. Okay, but let's get this. One. Uh, I can't see that, but I'm sure I can. Three. Three. Oh, you son of a bitch! Okay, but you're still in like burn mode, so it should be fine. Should be. Oh, was that heals? <laughs> what was stopping her from just like, you know, holding me like this and then just going like that across my body? She was stalling. At least we know it, it is Laura, I mean. Well, yeah, it was confirmed. Who do you think you are? I know who you are. Seb. I know what you crave. What you fear. Will you be able to live with yourself knowing what I'm gonna make you do? Poor little Joseph couldn't. Too bad they dragged you into this. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. So yeah, he has confirmed that it is as well. But also I was gonna say uh when I was like it confirms it's Laura, I think the whole idea of that scene where like it shows you her face, it's meant to be like, oh yeah, this is his sister, like that's who it's meant to be. Obviously I know it's Laura because like I looked I looked into her quite a bit when um, I first played this. Sorry, Sebastian. Locked. Let me guess, locked. You know, it's so weird because like when you when you like double tap like I'm doing, he busts the door down. So I'm kind of surprised he's like, yeah, let me check if this door's open or not before I just break my leg by like kicking it. Well, I was going to assume that was like the area to go, but okay, they're all locked. Of course they are. Well, I meant like that was the area to get the dinner, the mirror dimension as per usual. I'm never sparing you, boy. Oh, okay, girl. Let me in.
<laughs> My hands are sweaty. Doc, what the hell do you think you're doing? Trying to save us. Really? Because it looks like you're making another monster to me. I don't have time for this, Detective. Neither do I. Leslie has been here before. And made it back. He survived being linked to Ruvik. The only patient ever, as far as I know. Wonderful. What does that have to do with any of this? He's our way out, Detective. Our only way back. In a weird way, it's like... What is that? Oh fuck, it's got a guy at the back of us. Oh, it's got four guys on it. Bye bye, dog. He wants the same thing as us. He wants out. Doctors are right. Ooh, shit. I'm gonna say it, right? Um. I know I say that a lot, but it seems like to me, doctors and like detectives and whatnot, like you, you can never tell who's right because like each of them have their own like morals. Like the doctor was trying to use Leslie to get out, and Sebastian didn't like the look of it. Um. Hey, I know you're out there. Listen to me, guys. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously the doctor knew that um, that was their only way out, so he did that. But obviously Sebastian thinks it's like fucked up and he's just becoming kind of a mental person in this world. Eh, give me an extra health. Yes. Um, do I think it's morally wrong what the doctor was doing? Mm, maybe. I don't really have an opinion, to be honest. Rubik must be really pissed now. Breaking a stem terminal? Never thought he'd go that far. Wait, stem? Oh, he must be close if he's severing ties with the past. All he has left is his connection to the present. The full stem in the hospital. Hospital? Beacon Mental Hospital? And that's where he'll be. If somebody doesn't get there first, there'll be no way out for anyone. Okay. I just love how white my face goes when it does stuff like that. I probably should have picked up them bolts back in. Ooh. Birdie. You big. Okay, so I think the 2 plus hours thing was a lie. I mean, then again, that's just like an average estimate, but it seems like... We've only... Assuming that's the final boss. This has only been like an hour. But obviously I'm not going to go into the logistics of whether or not 
the guy on Reddit that I was reading was lying or not. That doesn't matter. Oh, shit. Is that a bad thing? Um... <gasps> Secrets. <laughs> We've got a fourth wall break. What's down there? Is that a... Oh, it's like a boss fight room. I mean, I know, like, the way level designs work, like, it's, it's like one section of a level, and then it keeps going down and down, and, like, they split it off into different paths through, like, cutscenes, but... I don't know, I just wasn't expecting to see that. And it's done it again. Not necessarily, though. Oh, yes, the parking lot. God damn it. Oh, there's boards there. <laughs> Shit, I wanted the bullets. I thought I was... I thought that was my death. Lots of bad things happen in parking lots, like, don't they? Okay, so immediate course of action, grab every bullet. Oh, okay, yeah, it's... It's just like an eye thing, that's correct. Okay. That's fine. I just want to grab every bullet so it makes this fight easier. Well, not to make it easier necessarily, just to make it so I can... I don't have to run around and grab bullets halfway through. Because I will pump my all of my bullets in you bro as soon as i've got everything that this part has to offer i am like you're dead So we just grenade at my death. Not that that's gonna like necessarily kill him, but oh. yeah, at least do like something. What are you doing? Oh no. Yeah, great as red. Grenades always win, bitch. Okay, well, I want to, like, actually explore. I mean, I know I was, like, trying to get, like, everything. Mainly because I thought, like, oh, um... Then again, what is that to pick up other than, like, a random few bits and bobs? Yeah!
Okay, chapter 10. Now on to chapter 11. And then obviously once we've done chapter 11, we'll end the video and then we will finish the game with three chapters. Yeah. I don't ask where that came from, the, the name. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. Oh no. Oh, fuck. I remember this. Oh no, buddy. I remember this very specifically. I remember shitting my pants playing this part. Mainly because um, I have a big fear of water, as some of you may know. Glossophobia, it's terrible for me. And there is a lot. Well, there is one big glossophobia part. I mean, don't get me wrong, this chapter was cool as shit when I played it. I loved it, but it's just the Phosophobia part. No thanks. Looks like the asylum's the only building left untouched. How can that be? Because it has significant value? Yeah, I don't want to like go into like the the straight up why I hate this chapter or the second chapter. I don't remember which one it is, but there is a very specific enemy that ooh, I don't like him. In fact, it's more of I absolutely hate you. Get out my way. I thought that movement, like the the windows in the bus, was like, oh, that's a um, that's like a a billboard or something, just like flying across. If that was me in that situation, I would be dead. I would get crushed. <gasps> What's in here? Magnum. Ooh, baby. It's just oh, I, uh, okay. I I'll be honest. I did not know it was actually gonna be the Magnum. Um, just a guess. <laughs> I mean, whenever these games give you, like, one weapon last to the end, it's either a rocket launcher or it's a magnum of some sort. Like, um, Dead Space did that. Um, obviously Resi 2 did the... Where are you going, bud? Okay, well, you're gone forever. Resi 2 did, like, the rocket launcher. Um... Okay, if anyone's wondering why I'm making that face, I have my foot in that water and that... I, I kind of stress enough how much I hate, like, the idea of bones snapping. It freaks me the fuck out. Especially that one zombie land scene. Um Good on here. Yeah, that one zombie land scene where um Cumberland is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um Okay, sorry, spoilers to Zombie Land. I mean it's a very old movie, I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you. Okay, yeah, so that's obviously a steel mask. Bye? Okay. 
Yeah, um, Cumberland has like a, a girl, no, well not, not necessarily a girlfriend, but just a girl comes into his house and is like, this guy tried to bite me and whatnot. Basically the start of the apocalypse, not knowing what the fuck's happening. And then he wakes up, somehow she's a zombie. I mean, well, sorry. Somehow he's still alive after she turned into a zombie. I mean, I don't know if she turned right as he woke up, but like, he wakes up and she's just like hovering over him, like black uh, blood dripping from her mouth. And then, I'm confused on where to go. Yeah, blood drips from my mouth. And then he gets up all shocked, like, does a thing, and then... Segue to the scene that scared me every time I've seen it. Um... She chases him into a bathroom, um, he closes the door on her, and her leg is caught, and obviously with her being a zombie, oh, yo! Well, sorry, obviously with her being a zombie, um... She's forcefully trying to get in, so he has to like proper jam the door into her. And in doing so, with her leg being caught in it, he like crushes her ankle and it's like it's it's showing the bone and everything and ugh, I, I can't watch that scene. Ugh. I mean I don't know how old I was when I watched the scene, but it has traumatized me since to do anything with my ankles and feet. Um but I do know that I watched the movie Zombieland before the second one came out. Actually, like, way, way before the second one came out. Maybe, like, three or four years before it came out. Because it was on Netflix. And me and my family just watched it over and over. Um, I don't think anyone else in my family, like my brother and sister, cared about it, and um, I cared about that scene, but... Ugh. It's a no from me. Okay. If this isn't an immediate, like, head explosion, you've got half a head, bro. Okay, good. Yeah, that scene, I just... scarred me ever since then. And I can't watch it. Just burn that guy. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Can I have that? But yeah, like, he just... That scene. No. I know that took, like, a long time to get to that. Um, and again, I apologize. And now I'm paying the price for being all the way back here. Bye bye. Uh. Oh, really, bro? And I will say, I've only seen Zombieland 2 like a handful of times. Um, my honest opinion if you haven't watched Zombieland, just move straight on to the second one. 
Sorry, not the second one, the first one. Don't. Well, again, obviously you're going to watch the first one before you watch the second one, unless, of course, you know. I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you. The weird. Um. Second one. Mm, I would say just skip it. If you want to do it, right, my, he has Joey's recommendations of, like, movies you should watch. If you're going to watch a zombie film, like, if you're doing a zombie marathon with someone, put Zombieland in the mix. Um, it is a comedy. Obviously, I'm sure everyone knows what Zombieland is at this point, but... Um, yeah, give it a... Give the first one a watch. But, yeah, like I say, do not bother with the second one. I mean, someone probably disagrees with me in the comments, or, like, who's watching this video. Uh, I mean, it's just an opinion, but then again, my opinion is correct, so shut up. I'm joking. Um, I didn't like it. it wasn't my thing. I mean, I don't know how successful it did, but... I mean, it might have done, like, very successful, but as far as I remember, um, well, I don't remember, I never, I never checked how well it done, but I know one thing, I didn't go see it in cinema. I mean, I wanted to, but I never got around to it, um, then I somehow watched it somewhere, and not as good as the second one. Sorry, the first one. I keep I keep muddling my words up. I'm just gonna plant that there. Just so when I get this bro's like keychain. They're all gonna leave me alone. That was an immediate buy from me. Oh, fuck, what's shooting us now? Oh, are you joking? Run, Seb, run. I can't even want to fight these guys. Oh, that doesn't permanently lock them out. Well, of course it doesn't. Why would it? Yeah, but I don't have to talk. I'm not talking about Zombie Land. I mean, I just felt like nostalgic from that, like that leg. Oh, sorry, that like almost leg crusher. But then again, one funny thing, um, I can't watch Zombieland's that scene, I mean, I can't watch it, but watching it just has me like, Ew. but um, I can watch Terrifier 2's most gruesome scene, no problem. I mean, I haven't watched Terrifier, um, I know it's like widely successful, um, Oh no! Get up there now. Yeah, I know Terrify is like widely successful. Um, but I haven't watched it. I mean, my uncle mentioned it to me before Terrify 3 oh, came shit. out. Yep, this is it. I fucking hate this.
Yeah, you mentioned it maybe four Terrifier 2 came out. Or Terrifier 3. Um. Swim! I mean, I kind of remember what... I mean, not that it matters when he mentioned it, but... You know... What?! Buddy, run! Fucking run! <laughs> oh... Okay, I'm gonna finish my segment of Terrifier and explaining it after this. Um, I fucking hate this guy. <gasps> oh, it's horrible. I don't like it. Ah! It's got like massive like horse teeth and Ugh, horse teeth. Ugh, I don't like horse teeth. I don't like how human no they look. The water soon. Oh, is it just that segment? I thought it was like a full on, like, chasey chase monster. <laughs> but yeah, going back to what I was saying about Terrifier, um, my uncle um, mentioned it one time in a car, and I was like, huh. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know why it matters when he mentioned it. I just wanted to show that he's like, I guess an OG Terrifier fan. Um, but it was definitely before Terrifier 3. Because I see so much Terrifier stuff, like, uh, my partner is just starting to talk about it quite a bit. Um, personally, I still have yet to watch it. Uh, Bro, what? Oh, fuck. Damn it, bro. Ah! Oh shit, what, what? Oh. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to like, mention, I don't know why I wanted to mention Terrifier, and like I said, I don't know why I even bothered mentioning that he was an OG fan. But then again, he might not be. Who cares, honestly? It's just, I know some people, me, myself, I am one of them. That's like, oh, I was an OG fan of this before, you know, most people got into it. So I can say that I am a cool person when it comes to this. Like, that's mainly me when it comes to like Resident Evil. Anyone wants to talk about Resident Evil, I'm like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like incriminating myself by saying like I'm an asshole when it comes to thing. I'm a, I will admit I am a gatekeeper to Resident Evil. Um, I don't mean to be.
How do I get away from that? Kill three living enemies with one match, and the trophy was called Drop It Like It's Hot. Some kind of fake. That was kind of weird because obviously Fortnite just added Snoop Dogg and that's his song that's in the game. But then again, who cares about Fortnite? This is Evil Within. I'm talking about like Evil. I keep I keep going off topic sometimes, and I'm sorry, but that's commentary. Isn't that not the next save area? Yeah. Kind of just saves you. Kidding. This place is filthy. What is this his doing? Okay, bro, you do realize this is the place that you've been. Are you all right? You do realize there would be no one to replace me. Ooh. <laughs> um. But what? I'm so confused. What just happened there? Like, bro was like, so I keep saying bro because I just I say that a lot on like Instagram posts and whatnot. Um. But the fact that Sebastian is like, this place is. Filthy? This is the place you've been for half, sorry, more than half of the game. The game's almost done. I mean, we're at the end. We're, like, at the end section. This is, like, the last section of the game. And you're talking about how filthy it is now. I mean, yes, it is pretty bad now, but, like, it's always been filthy. I was going to comment on your ha on what your house looks like, but I don't do too well at cleaning up even Sebastian. Hmm, I remember this as well. This is quite annoying. <gasps> what was that? Boom! Okay, has he got them all in a cage? And that's what that's meant to signify. Um. Okay, you can't actually pre-take them out. Okay, not knowing that knowledge, they are probably definitely going to come out. Um, is that someone up there? It is. Oh yeah, I remember that. You, you, he takes that elevator and then you get another one. No, my scrap! Y'all gonna come out of there or oh okay. I'm gonna be honest, I can't be bothered to fight you all, so I'm just gonna speed run past you. Um You asshole. Couldn't have just left me alone, could you? Okay, you can make that jump over there, surely. No, don't do that. Jump over that, please. That's because it's much like Resident Evil where you've got to back away from the door and wait until he opens it. You are. Okay, so yeah, it is that whole idea that the, the door opens. Much like, I think it's Resi 4 that did that. Or Resi 5, my personal favourite. Oh my, okay, yeah, so there is a guy around the corner, that's what it's meant to be. Run! Damn it!
That's taking far too long, isn't it? It's like... Okay, so scratch that concept. It's nothing to do with the door. It must just be like, kill a, a certain amount of enemies. God damn, bro, get in frame. Nice. Well, I'm supposed to take the satisfactory away from him. Damn it. No. You shan't. Fuck. <laughs> oh, there's a way on the right to go. Okay. Okay, but naturally this doesn't help me at all. Oh my god, I do not remember how to get in there. Um, so I guess we just take our enemies till they decide to open the door fully. Okay, well you're gone now. Okay, well, I've got another idea. What if I just like shoot bolts at the ready? Yeah, kind of like they've been doing to me and then... Why not? Let's just try this method. I was really hoping that was going to land in time. I can't say enough how much I hate parts like this. These parts are not fun at all. Okay, is it gonna stay open? Kim's in BD Fury, what does that mean? Kill 200 enemies. Wow. Awesome. I'm not in a good mood at the minute. I don't like these parts where... Oh, that's what it was referring to. So like, they were all coming out at one time. Ah. Okay, can I just have a break from the enemies right now? You know I'm going to be, like, dead. Or unless I've got a med kit. And, like, a few pistol bullets. Um, I don't like that the fact that there's... Holes. Well, tunnels to hide in. Mm. 
not giving me a box that probably has a 50-50 chance to give me what I want. Okay. Thank you. Oh, what are we doing? Don't tell me this is going to create a bridge that's going to be like, oh, you need to go all the way back round or something. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I hate these enemies so much. Fuck it, I'm speed running. The main problem is if I get caught in one of their crossfires like that, I'm dead. Oh, bro, bro, no. Really? More grenades? That's not what I need. I need health. Okay, you shouldn't realistically follow me. Oh, this is perfect, this part. You know, this is just what I needed. A part where you need HP to survive. Oh, I do have meds. Awesome. Yeah, that just ain't gonna work. <clears throat> Again, I like the mask. Okay, so maybe like, when it comes to the other guys... Maybe I could craft some bombs with my available things, yeah. But damn it, bro, I need as many bullets as I can muster.
What was that? Ugh. Fuck you. Look, I ain't dying today, bro. I just want to be out of this section. I hate this section so much. Ooh, more. Yes. Okay, what else can I craft for the next parts? I feel like these explosive bolts are like my best friend. Okay, I don't know what kind of bolts they were, but they're not mine anymore. Oh my god. I wonder if, um... Long hair, horse teeth, water guy still out there. I remember when I looked up a picture of that thing and... Ew. I hate it even more, it just... I'm not gonna lie, there's something about horse teeth on, like, things. Like... I can't be the only one that thinks this, but horse have very, very human-like teeth. Maybe, maybe I when really don't. I don't know. Then again, how much? How many? Um, six thousand. That's not really worth it. So, just gonna push on. Yeah, I don't know. Something about horse teeth. They just look very human to me. Um. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind horses. I just... Ugh. They're cute, but don't show me them teeth. Kidman? I was going to say that. How dare you steal my coat? I will say I don't blame the DLC for being revolved around her. I mean, two of the two out of three DLCs are based around her because obviously she didn't have much of a part in this game until now, I guess. I think this is like the only part that she gets to, and then like towards like the last two chapters, she just disappears again. that thing back okay either I'm thinking of um oh it's back fuck 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 <laughs> either I'm okay I was gonna say either I'm thinking of say a solitude or it is back it is back that's a great game though, Sea of Solitude. Definitely worth, definitely recommend playing that. Um, why won't you get up? Oh shit. Yeah, I recommend playing Sea of Solitude. Um, I know it's just not randomness, but it's an ocean-style horror game. I mean, well, psychological horror. Um, when I when I first bought it, I was like, "Oh, it's a it's a horror game." It's got horror elements, but it's more psychological and here I come, fucking faster, oh, bit faster. Get away from me, you horse bastard.
Yeah, it's very psychological. Um, oh no. Well, there's a body right there for you to numb on. Oh my god. Kidman, hold on. Help! There's too many of them. You got a metal mask on? No. Okay, so clearly they're not gonna hold. What do you want me to do? I mean, I can't exactly... How do I shoot this? I want to show that ugly ass head of yours again. Okay, so we've got a body there. Okay, so we could realistically outrun it in a way. I mean, I couldn't. If this was me. Oh, fuck. I mean, you should know on that for like five seconds. Oh, fuck's sake, Sebastian. Oh my god, are you joking? I ain't doing that, no. Okay, let's... Where did they one go? Or did he take it? Here I go. Oh, what? What, 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 what do you mean, though, bro? Oh, bro, no. Stop. Go. Ah, closed on me. What if we throw that over there? There you go, there's a body for you to nom. Now leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Go, 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 go! It doesn't have the same shock value as it did. Um, I mean, when I first played this, but ew, I still hate it. Tell you what, like, that's going to be the thumbnail, that monster. Whatever it's called. Okay, let's immediately just like take out as many as we can with just a grenade. What up, Kidman? Oh, you hadn't come along. Say this. Save it for later. There are probably more of them around. Look out! Um. Yeah, I kind of exactly fight these guys. Damn, Kidman. Okay, I ain't getting that back. I was gonna say thank god that the grenades stick around, but that obviously ain't happening with that one. Okay, I have no more bolts to make. Nice. 
My deepest hatred goes out of the person who made, who designed that enemy. And I'm sorry to anyone who played this game on a MAGA mode? A MEGA mode? I might have been swung in that elevator actually. I thought that was, uh, elevator was the right way to go. I don't care, I'm not gonna go back for it. I'm glad you're alright. Ever since the church, I... You were at the church? Yeah, Joseph and I. He's in bad shape, or at least he was when I last saw him. What about the boy from the hospital? Leslie? I found him in a cage. He freaked and ran, though. Now you're all caught up on that evil within law, Kidman. Okay, I don't, I want to, I just popped into my head. I don't know if it has any significance to the story. As far as I remember, as far as I can tell, when I've seen it, and now that I'm thinking about it, it has no significance to me, or the game, from what I can tell. We've all been seeing strange things. Have you been having any nosebleeds, headaches? No. Why? Joseph was. It's like he was turning into one of those things. Maybe it doesn't affect everybody. I was going to say, maybe she's not affected. Hell yeah. Strike! Um, yeah, I've seen a, a fan art picture of Leslie inside the Keeper's head. Like, it's him, like, putting his hand like this against the, the door, and it's like a baby Leslie. Um, I don't know what it means if Leslie and the Keeper are connected. I just remember saying that fan art. It doesn't mean anything to me, of course, but... Oh, shit. What would be really funny at that part is if, um, is if the credits just rolled. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a serious game, but I feel like the chapter ending there would have been great. To be like, what happened? Oh, wow, she locked me in the room. I don't blame you. What is this? Quarantine time. You shoot me? You started turning into a monster. You attacked me. I'm sorry, but you're tainted now. You might try to stop me through you. Wait, what are you talking about? Did you take all my bullets? No. Oh yeah, I've still got a magnum, but I'm saving that realistically for the final boss. Honestly, Kidman, don't blame you. Get it open. Get it open. Get it open. Leslie? Leslie, is that you? Buddy? Leslie, that's good. Just a little more. He's gonna get freaked out and run away again. What is it? Rubik? Help, 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 help! Hey! Okay, well, at least he, like, he opened it enough to get you out. I mean, that's something, isn't it? Leslie? But yeah, Leslie inside the Keeper's Mask. I don't know what it means. Um, so far, it has no significance value to the game. As I said. <laughs> oh, no. Keeper? Is this why it's significant? Oh no, what is that? Oh yeah, that's a thing again. Oh. 
Oh fuck, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. I legit thought I got lucky enough to actually like out like walk past him, but obviously not. Is there a key somewhere? Absolutely. Um yeah, but as I was saying, uh Leslie being in the Keeper's Mask has no... Good evening, gentlemen. I am going to run now. Yeah, Leslie being in the Keeper's Mask makes no sense to me. Um... If anyone knows why that fan art exists, um, please let me know. I mean, maybe it's just like a little, you know, a little fan art to represent, like, obviously he was trapped with the Keeper in his cage or whatever. Like, he was in the cage of the Keeper's chapter, so... I literally thought that, um... Joseph... I thought that train literally said chapter. But yeah, I I think that might be what it means. But that's what it's referring to is like Joseph, sorry, not Joseph, Leslie being trapped in the thing. Uh, I need a little bit more. I want to get like full maxed out pistol. in terms of damage. So maybe that's like the significance of it. I mean, I know like fan art doesn't necessarily mean, need to be accurate. Um, I mean, some of my favorite like types of fan art are like the chibi ones. Like there's this one I absolutely love of um, the Dimitrescu daughters with uh, Lee Dimitrescu. It's really cute. Well, it's them as like, they must be like four or three, because they're absolutely tiny. Put that down. Oh shit. Oh no. Out of life. Not like. I should not have survived that. Yeah, all I remember is it's them as like two to four. I want to say like four to five, and it's just Lady Dimitrescu like feeding one of them blood, the other one giving, sorry, Lady Dimitrescu giving another one a knife as a Christmas, as a birthday present or something, and the other one, another daughter like getting chased by Dimitrescu in like a, a fun mother way. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't remember where the comic was or if I could find it, but. Oh, okay, so that's chapter 11. But yeah, that's like. That's one of my favorite types of like. Cut fan art is like. Well, then it gets a comic, really, but. Oh well. But that has been Evil Within. Um, episode 6? 7? Something like that. Um, I hope you enjoy what you've seen today. And next episode will be the final Evil Within episode, or at least like the final, um, the final section, I guess. Sorry, not the other final section, the final episode to the main story. Uh, and then I've obviously got the three episodes to do with the DLC, but we'll do that like some other time after the game. Maybe we'll do it straight after, who knows. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. And I will see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!